In this video, I'm going to explain how do we make a nut by using the uh, techniques we learned in the second lecture. We start from new, use GB magic part again. So uh, to make a nut, we need to actually use a construction circle. To make a construction circle, we use an uh, extrude command. So like the plane, draw a circle by center point and put your cursor to the center of the coordinate system. Then you uh, click and drag it and, and enter the diameter of uh, 18. Right, uh, right click, cancel the command. Now we use a straight line to draw six tangent lines around this uh, uh, circle. It has to be tangent. See the tangent sign appears. Okay, one, two, three, right click, cancel it, uh, and drag, click, and tangent, right click, cancel it. Make a tangent, four, right click, cancel it, click, drag, towards it, and tangent appear, click, right click, cancel it, last one, click, and tangent sign appear, click again, yeah. These lines doesn't have to be uh, set uh, parallel to each other at this moment, but we can use the parallel command to do that. Okay, so this line parallel with horizontal and with the opposite as well. Okay, so uh, then two opposite lines, one there in parallel with that one, one there in parallel with that one. Okay. The next is to use the angle between command here to set angle between lines. So that should be 120. Okay, do it again. Click between these two, 120. No. Okay. Next is to convert the circle in the middle into construction lines. Use uh, the construction line command. Okay, construct and click. Okay, it becomes construction line. The next is to use trim command to remove the uh, additional lines we don't need. Uh, makes the hexagon appears. Okay. Now we can click this uh, close sketch and back to the 3D. The thickness of this one is 8. eight. Click on finish, cancel. So that's our hexagon shape. The next is to use a hole command to make a thread hole. Thread hole is to use a hole command and select the command and next is select the surface where you want to put the hole. Once we are here, we need to actually set the hole feature here. Make sure this Threaded is selected, uh, standard threaded. We need to click on this, throw all uh, to the whole extent, make sure that is collected. Uh, we just 
cancel these things, uh, we can do that afterwards. This is the purely for demonstration purpose. Uh, we do the chamfer afterwards. All right now, the last thing is to set the size of the hole, which is 12 millimeter M12. And you click on OK. Move your mouse to the center, midpoint of the horizontal line, and click. Uh, don't click again. Uh, right click, cancel this one, uh, then move to the uh, close sketch. Then you should get the uh, thread hole on the nuts. And you click on finish, click on fin cancel. Next, you're going to use the uh, reverb cut, which is a new command. Okay. To cut the corner of the on the surface of nuts. So we select that plane YZ. Okay. Then we use a straight line, draw a diagonal line here. Uh, any angle, we set angle outwards, click, right click, cancel it. We use angle between, we used before, between these two, not these two between that one and the horizontal one. So we can print this one, 30, it should be step angle 60, All right? Uh, we need a sign access of resolution, okay, and click, we're back to 3D, now we need to actually select the directions of the cutting. So we need to cut that part rather than this part that where it cuts all the bolt, uh, nuts uh, away. Uh, that is the direction. You can see when you swing the, your mouse, you see the, the corner be cut. You click on this reverse cut 360 and click on finish. So you can see the corner of the nuts being cut. The next is we're going to use the, the chamfer command. As we mentioned now previously, we can do that within the uh, whole command, but just try to demonstrate how do we use a chamfer. So chamfer is just like the command. Okay, like then select the edge and, and do the setback. Okay, chamfer. So the one we have to do the chamfer is this one, uh, that one. So the setback is type in as a 0.5 millimeter, click on green tick, then you can see chamfer is created. And then you finish the chamfer. Next one, we're going to use a round command to round the corner. Round command to round corner. This is too big, so we type in 0.5 as well. So that one, that one. If you somehow click on the wrong one, you can right click to cancel it. Right. Uh, for example, this is the wrong. So we can always come back, use this one. Uh, select the corresponding edge and then cancel it. So we can cancel everything and then we can redo them again if we didn't get them right. You need to turn the model around Otherwise, you won't be able to click on the right place. Okay, so all the corners are around now. And then we just click on green tick, uh, preview. Okay, you can see all the chamfers cut. That is all the command we just learned. 
and use that to make this nuts. Then we can save it. Save. That's it for this video.